Hi there, it's Phil here. If you are using Ecamm for presentations, maybe you'd like to be able to use arrows to point around the screen at whatever you're trying to highlight. Arrows like this green arrow here, that you would then like to be able to move it around the screen to highlight things, whether it's on a software demonstration or any other reason, it may be some other presentation you're making with complex data and you need people to know exactly where you are on the screen, where you can bring in arrows of a variety of different colors and shapes. And this is me going to show you how to do that with a particular little tip on how to make the manipulation of the arrows much easier once you're in Ecamm Live itself. So let's go straight into Keynote, which is where we're going to be creating our arrow. Now I've already built the arrow in Keynote. If you need to know how to make graphics in Keynote, I'll put a link to the video that I've made previously on how to do that. So I'm gonna assume you know how to create shapes. So your pointer can be any shape at all. It doesn't have to be an arrow. Uh, it can be anything you like. So I can click on this arrow here and make uh, make it a different shape if I wanted to extend it out, that kind of thing, all very easy to do within uh, Keynote. Typically within Ecamm, we would normally say that you would need to use the no fill area for the background. So I'm gonna click on the background area. So look, if I click on the arrow, then we go to a different style screen, which allows us to change the color of the arrow. But if I go to the background, click on it, then we're in the background area and here it says no fill. If I bring up an arrow just to show you that, uh, if I, well, I wanna show this, that instead of having no fill for the background, I'm gonna break the rules, which will make manipulating our arrows around the screen much easier. So in this area here, we are going to click on color fill. Now, it's gone for a color fill of green. This is just one of those funny things. If I just change it to black, you'll see the green uh, arrow again. It doesn't actually matter what color it is. If we click on this little icon here, this will bring up our color window. And I like to use the grayscale slider, and you can see we're on black here, but it could be anything at all. But what we want to do is go to the area at the bottom below. So let me just highlight that for you, where we have the opacity slider. And the opacity slider, we want to slide that down to one. Not zero, but to one. And that will make the background have at least 1% of opacity. And that means that our arrow will be draggable from even if we click and drag in the area that's built around the arrow, we can still maneuver it. Whereas if you're using a small object, you'd actually have to click on the arrow itself and be a lot more precise when you're dragging it around the screen. Okay, so what we'll do now, now that I've done that, I can duplicate this arrow. So Alt and then drag down and create another one. And then I can go and click on the, the arrow itself and maybe make a red one. And if I Alt click and drag another one, I can click on the arrow and let's say maybe make an, uh, an orangey yellow one. So you can make them whatever color you like. You can fill them with gradients, whatever you want to do, you can even, even animate them. I'm not gonna show you that at this particular point in time. But what we would do is we would export those arrows. So we would go to File, Export, Images, and we would go to PNGs from one to three, uh, create an image for each stage of the build. So I can do that. And it says export with transparent background. So I leave that on, even though we've got a 1% opacity. And then I can click Next and it will ask me where I want to save the arrows. So I can now hit the export button and it will export each of those builds for me. Let me show you those arrows now. So there are the arrows in a folder and they're just called pointer arrows one, two, and three. I can rename those very easily just by clicking and calling it green arrow. Move to the next one. 
So I've renamed them now and I can use them in my Ecamm Live setups, bringing those in as overlays and you'll see those overlays right now. So I'll just drag those arrows in here now and they'll all appear on the screen for us. So I've got all three arrows here, look. And the great thing is that I can move those arrows around and make them bigger or smaller. So I'm going to go into demo mode just to show you um, how they would manipulate around the screen. And it doesn't matter whether you're uh, screen sharing or not. So let's go to demo mode quickly. You can see that we've got the three arrows here and I can move them around and you can see the box around each of the images. Now that box in this area is a 1% opacity, which makes it draggable. If I hadn't done that, I'd actually have to be on the actual arrow itself to drag it around. So I can now manipulate these and make them smaller to match the sort of size that I want them to be for um, whatever the purpose of, of making the arrows is for my software demonstration, for instance. So I've got three there, and obviously in the screen here, uh, if I can just show you those there, in fact, I can use an arrow to show it. Look, <laughs> um, those arrows there, we can assign a, a shortcut to make them a screen deck button on an overlay or use them with my favorite numpad app, of course, and we can then turn them on or off. These now, I can move them around. So if I come out of demo mode, okay, these, will be moved around and I can drag it quite easily around the screen as I like to show various things. And obviously having different colored arrows means that you can uh, highlight particular areas with a contrast to whatever it is you're, you're showing on your screen. So, and I can just turn them off if I want to on the, uh, on the side using my overlay area. So I'll just leave myself with the yellow arrow showing here. So, just quickly back to demo mode. So this is where I am. I don't have to drag the actual arrow. I can get around it anywhere in this zone that I want to. And if I do get the arrows on the screen in Ecamm, I can make it bigger or smaller. I'd rather it was lockable. So that's something for the Ecamm developers to do. So you can actually lock the size of your uh, graphics would be very nice so you don't make the mistake of dragging it and making it bigger when you actually want to move it around. So I'd come out of demo mode. I'll turn that off. And there we are. So I could use it on my software demonstrations. That's an example of that there. And I hope you found that useful. If you found that useful, please let me know and leave a comment in the dialog box or a like, and I hope to be of use for you in the near future. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.